guys, what's going on? So I'm checking out what I just designed. This right here is an origami house, or it could be an arrow, and it's a flicker. Check this out. Okay, so here it is, and you just hold it like this, and you flick it right here, and here it goes. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, ready to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here goes. Okay, so for this model, I'm going to use a six inch square of common. Okay, so for a blue house, let's begin white side up and let's fold in half. Try to make very precise folds and crease sharply. And unfold and now fold the two edges to the crease. Okay, now let's make a paper airplane fold, so fold this edge to the middle. Alright, now take this and fold it right over the edge. And make sure that this point aligns with the middle. Okay, and now unfold, and now turn over, and we're going to do, we're going to take this and we're going to fold this up. How much? Well, this fold is, this is an eyeball fold, so just try and match what I'm doing. But it, this fold, it doesn't need to be perfect. So just fold it up so that the space in between this point and this point is about a centimeter. So just about that much. But yeah, it doesn't need to be perfect, you just eyeball it. Okay, and now take this crease, make it, and fold it down right over that edge. Like this, and then you can lift here and make the fold sharp. Like that. Okay, and now let's get rid of these two points, so let's reverse fold them. So turn over and fold this up so that the fold we're making aligns with this edge. Okay, and repeat on this side. Fold it so that the fold we're making aligns with that edge. Okay, unfold, and now it's reverse fold them. So lift all layers up and reverse. Repeat on this side. Okay. And now take this and fold it up as far as it goes. And make sure the edges align right here. And same on this side. Okay, just like that. And now the last fold, just fold this up just a tiny bit. Just fold it up maybe about three millimeters maybe. Just about like this. So that way it keeps the model closed, which will make it fly better. See? it as sharp as possible. Alright, and now let's give it some curvature. This is also what makes it fly a little bit better. See? Give it some curvature like this. And once you do that, here is our finished house or arrow flicker. And yeah, so to flick it, just hold it like this and then you just use your finger and just flick it like this. See? 
Okay, now I'm gonna show you how this thing flies. Okay, so to fly this, it's just like an ordinary flicker. So you just hold it like this and then a flick right there on this slanted part. And here goes. Ooh, yeah. Ah, that wasn't very good when I, I didn't flick it hard enough. There you go, that was better. Yeah. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed folding that. I hope you enjoy flying it. And make sure you subscribe and let me know what you think. Alright, see you guys later.